What's up, it's your boy Naptastic, and welcome back to another episode of my Stain to Town series. Um, after a bit of a tricky November, we're going to try and come back in this month of December and get ourselves back on track in the league. Um, we're mid-table, so given our pre-season projections, we're well ahead of schedule. Like We're outperforming what we should be doing. But, as we've seen and we saw last season... Those projections can change and our aspirations change with them. So we're going to keep trying to push as far up the table as possible. Um, we've got a tricky game here against Bristol Rovers. Well established sides again. Um, we're finding more and more teams where we're playing the tougher level. But we've got a penalty here and a great chance to go one up. Yes. A Beatles still scoring them goals. Great. Yeah. He'd be the real stalwart for me this season. Come on. 20 minutes in, we're doing well. Now, what I'm hoping for now is just a quiet remaining 45 minutes. We're going to half time with the lead, which is a good confidence boost. Now we just want to see this game out, just, which is hard we still have to play our game because Bristol Rovers have enough talent to really put us under threat let's bring on some fresh legs for Luke Adams who's picked up a slight knock and uh, same for Akinsenia who's looking a little tired 8 minutes to go could be a memorable victory here had to see out a lads oh Last minute chance here for Bristol Rovers. No. Well defended. Well defended, boys. So a slight change of formation has done the job for us there. Um, thought I'd go a bit tactical with it because team with a higher ability with the formations they use, they probably prepped for us doing a certain thing. Right? Change it up. Throws their game plan out the window. Now, key thing now is we've got Woking next and Woking are a team below us and it's got the added incentive of that's the team Hugh Johnson joined we want to make sure we fully make him regret that decision we had a good result against them earlier in the season we want to continue that form and more importantly we want to beat them to help our push up the league so we're looking for all three points against Woking Nothing less really will do. Okay, so Woking are actually favourites for the cash. Which is a little bit of a surprise for me. Because I think we're higher up in the league than them. But, you know. That's the way the uh, betting shops will uh, want to see it. Fair enough. Switch back to four, like, uh, four, two, three, one. And immediately... Akinsenya, 25 seconds in was that, a chance, a chance, the ground could uh, do with a bit of a relayed pitch, the, especially the keepers areas, they look an absolute mess, but I guess that's conference football at its finest, come on, oh yes, Akinsenya, finding those goal scoring shoes, come on, Oh, but they've got a goal back. It's a real thriller, this game. Let's just go into half-time with the lead. That'll do. Yes. Come on. Now, let's kick on. We've got the lead. Re-energised. Let's get another goal and kill this game off. Nice. Yeah, that's a stretch of pitch. That's nice. Ekinsenia with the hat-trick. What a player. What a match. Come on. Is that fourth? Oh, yes. Yes, indeedy. Brilliant result. Now we've got a bit of a cushion to play with. Can be a bit more relaxed. Just give Dion Vibo his debut. Come on. Oh, 
not over yet. Working all right back in it. Bring on another set of fresh legs. Here we go. Eight minutes to go. Two gold cushion should be fine from here. It's a brilliant result. This is exactly what we wanted. All three points, fantastic. So two great wins to start off the month of December. Already feeling a lot more energized. The uh, Bibo makes professional debut. That to go with Akintanya's hat trick, brilliant. So we're currently eleventh, and what five points off the playoff places, which is not much at all, you know. So with well over half a season to go. We're flirting with it. We're definitely flirting with the possibility. We've got East Bombara next in the FA Trophy. It's a competition we want to do well in, so we want to beat them. They're in a lower division than us, so we should be going into the favourites, but we need to mark against complacency again. Every result is pretty much key, because we're stuck in that limbo. When we look at teams above us and teams that have been established in the Football League, there's a possibility to get intimidated. You don't want them to really do that. Um, and at the same time, when you look at teams below us and lower leagues, you don't want you want to mark against complacency. Just be relaxed, do what you do best. That's what we have to hope for. Especially because we got Exeter next. Nice, nice result. Good result here. Sorry, and we can go into that Exeter game pumped even though there's very little time to rest the legs in between they're playing five at the back which is it's gonna be annoying to break through but let's see what we can do they're, they're dominating the play oof let off there, real let off. Come on, lads, let's get back into this. Not much really happening. We're edging the possession a little bit right now, but going to half time, so no, no, that's fine. Got enough of the game left to still get a result here. We want to end it in one leg as well. I know the two tie, two leg ties are great in terms of finance. Oh yes. Getting a great goal, but like I was saying, I know the two leg tires are great in terms of financial stimulation. What is going on? <laughs> Conceded straight away. This is exactly why you want to, the match to be over in one tie because get the result, go through, you're done. Another goal. <laughs> Not letting me make my point, but I don't go one up. A two one up. Let's see this game out now. Let's calm it down. Let's be disciplined. Jesus. <laughs> for, for about, what, 60 minutes there was nothing going on? Now it's complete mayhem. <laughs> Goals galore, yes, I can tell you. <laughs> Lads, discipline. Keep your shape. Retain possession. Let's see this game out. Show a bit of composure here. Seven minutes. You can do that. Another goal. 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 No. Oh, good defending, lads. Oh, <laughs> hit the post. What a game this has been. No, not now. Oh, blimey, that was close. Well, we get the result and we're through to the next round. That's all I care about. <laughs> Tough game and fair play to East Wombara. But we're through to the third round. Fantastic. So now we have to worry about Exeter. <laughs> no real time to like stop and think about like or celebrate that result. Straight on to Exeter. We do have the third round draw first and we get Forest Green. Which is not an easy game then. This World Premier. Another solid side we actually have them in the league after Exeter so. and another tough game after that against Hereford so we've got a tough month there but first things first we have to beat Exeter 
they're doing a four one two sort of two wide and a striker. I'm very tempted to go four four two here, but I will stick to my gun. F five. I'll gun there five. I'll gun there five. I'll gun there five. I'll gun there five. My midfield. This is probably one of the trickier matches. I think the second in the league. So. Gonna be tough. We're dominating play, I have to say. Oh yes, what a free kick. Scotty Taylor. Bags of talent that lad. Bags of talent. Always reliable my assistant manager. So I hope he can keep playing forever because he's one of my best players even at his age. Oh, what a pass that was. Jeez Louise, that was close. Real fluff by that player. Oh, let's put it wide as well, thank God. They're pumping out the pressure, even though we're controlling the play. The thing that's on the counter. Oh, we score another? No. See it into half time, boys. Very good. Solid half, 1 0 up. Doing enough to keep. Keep the scoreline as it is. Give it your thoughts. Oh no, Samuel Hayden's got injury. It's a bit injury prone, but it's okay. We've got trustworthy subs on the bench. Doing well here. Keep it going, lads. Ooh. Good result, boys. One or another win. December's turning out to be a real cracker after the sort of middling affair that was November. Three wins on the bounce. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. We've got a bit of a break now till uh, Forest Green, which is good. Opportunity to rest, refresh, and get ready for this game. It's always tricky to remember that these guys are part time, so they've got another job on the side probably. Which is just amazing, a real great effort. I mean, some of these teams will have full-time players. Now, I'm sure Barnet have full-time players on their books, for example. But the majority of mine are all part-timers or even non-contractors. So, see what happens. Forest Green are one of those teams that just got under the radar but are doing a great job. Turning the heat up, I have to say. Yes, lads! Great work! Get an opportunity to take it, that's exactly what I want to see. We're not going to dominate every game. In fact, we're probably going to be up with our backs to the wall for most games. So, when we get a chance, I want to see them taken. Almost get another there. Good free kick here, isn't it? But we're turning it on them now. We're the ones creating the chances. Let them chase the game. Let's put it into counter because they still have such a great attacking threat. Oh, jeez, how did that not go in? Doing enough. Come on. Hits the bar. Hits the bar. But the main thing is we're still winning. Two goal lead would have been much better, but can't really be picky now.
geez, they're still t creating chance after chance. Nice. Well played, lads. Let's distribute it. Retaining possession is the best way just to not only piss off the opposition, but tire them out and create a great chance on the counter. They're still getting good chances. Really hanging on. Jack Turner is having one of the games of his career here. He's undoubtedly going to be man of the match. I can't see anyone else. Come on, it's 95th minute right now. Yes. Another three points. Four wins on the bounce. Come on. Brilliant month this is turning into. Unbeaten run continues, which it has. Uh, oh, Barry offering a contract for Jody Thompson. I might try and just offer him a little cheeky deal, keep him around. Because I need him for this season. He wants a non contract, that is fine with me. Last game of the season. Or last game of the year, sorry. So we're ending our 2013 against Hereford. Again, 4 1, so 2 2 1. Oh, let's beat them. Five man midfield battle right now. Oh, I don't know what's happened at the Wheat Chief, but it looks rusty. <laughs> So we're going to half time nil nil uneventful first half. Uh, hopefully the second half could be a bit more thrilling. Oh, not that way please. <laughs> I meant in the sense of us scoring goals. <sighs> They're piling on. Jack Turner's really having to play his socks off right now. Boys, come on! Oh, silly free kick, it does well to save it again. Half an hour, come on boys, just give a bit of effort here. Attack, you know, don't get, fall deeper and deeper. Do that, you're just inviting pressure. Oh, 1 0, fair play to them. And there's the equaliser. Come on. Good way to bounce back. Let's get the winner now. Drive it on. Good result, boys. 1-1. One, one. We continue the... We finish the year with an unbeaten December. And we're pushing our way up the league. 2014 has been brilliant. We got away all the way to the Squirrel Perrier. Hopefully 2015 can see us get into the uh, League 2. One can only hope. But until then, catch you later. Bye bye now.